Hey guys, welcome to Kicking Tea Rugby. Today we delve into the riveting world of rugby tens as we explore the burning question. Who holds the title for the world's best fly half heading into the prestigious Rugby World Cup? Now, disclaimer. This video would not even need to be made if it wasn't for the injury of Roman Entomac. I personally rate him as the best fly off of this modern era. But now the question remains, who is the follow-up best fly half going into the World Cup? Now, we find ourselves amidst a dazzling array of fly halves, each possessing distinct strengths in either running or kicking. However, a fee falter in balancing both skills. Take for instance, the remarkable attacking skills of players like Marnie Lopuk and Santiago Carreras. While their running prowess shines, their goal kicking often leaves a lot to be desired. In this video, I will unveil my top three fly half picks. After intense consideration, here they are. Number three. Johnny Sexton. Amidst swirling debates surrounding Sexton's age and off field antics, I believe that he's a deserving contender. Let's delve into why. Well, for starters, he has unmatched leadership and a wealth of experience, leading Ireland to victory with two Grand Slams out of four Six Nations titles, including this year's exhilarating event. Sexton's impact on steering Ireland's backline is undeniable. His reliable boots and unexpected bursts of pace secure him a deserving spot at number three. What can one really say about the magician known as Finn Russell? His delicate touches and awe-inspiring crossfield kicks elevate his name to greater levels. Russell's challenge as a Scottish fly half, particularly with a less formidable pack, is undeniable. Yet, despite the scarcity of possession, he masterfully dismantles defences. Sporting a solid 80% kick success rate, he is a force to be reckoned with when targeting the posts. Prepare to be astonished as we unravel the incredible journey of Richie Mwanga. Cast your minds back a few years on considering him for this position would have raised many eyebrows. Yet, in recent times, Mwanga has transformed into a legendary figure. The 2021 encounter with France exposed many of his flaws, particularly his defence. However, 2022 bore witness to his gradual improvement, highlighted by guiding the Crusaders to a triumphant 6th and eventually 7th title in 2023. An unexpected challenge arose as Damien McKenzie returned to vie for the flower position after coming back from Japan, propelling Mwanga to greater heights. Then, the rugby championship witnessed Mwanga outclassing every rival, leading the All Blacks to their only second ever rugby championship title in a World Cup year, and to top it all off in the bloodiest load against the Australians when the All Blacks threw out a second string team and going down 17 points to 3 at half time. With Mwanga coming off the bench in the 50th minute, he led the All Blacks in an amazing comeback to win 23 points to 20, showing why he is the best fly half in the world right now. And there you have it, an exploration of the world's top fly halves as we gear up for the Rugby World Cup. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your support by leaving a like and subscribing for more analysis and exhilarating highlight videos. Thank you.